It's not good enough, Patrick, and uh, we're not going anywhere. You know, my work at the foundation is working with victims today. Um, since January alone, we have referred 33 separate cases of victims who say that they are still being let down today by Greater Manchester Police. Of those 33 serious cases, only one has been resolved, and that was two days ago. Now, I would say, Patrick, you know, Sophie's story is actually the only detailed example of a child being failed in this report. And, and just, and just, to, just to interrupt, Maggie, sorry, quickly, just to interrupt for the sake of our listeners who might not be listening earlier, Sophie is the girl, isn't it, who was at the police yeah. station. Talk us through it. Yeah. Yeah, Sophie went into the police station at the age of 12. Um, the, the, the personnel in the, um, in the police station said that she was drunk and to go away and come back when she was sober. Now, you've just said that she was picked up outside the police station. The truth is that she was spotted by another man who was actually in the police station at that time. Police refused to give her a lift home. He offered. She was raped repeatedly, taken to another house where she was raped again, dropped in the street where she was picked up and further abused. She went to the police. The police, for the past 15 years, have covered up what actually happened. This report, um, for the very first time, told Sophie that the names of two of her rapists were known to the police about 10 years ago. She has gone to... The professional standards she has gone to the IOPC she within GMP she has gone to Oldham Council and yet three weeks ago when I took her to read yeah. her chapter in this review she found out for the first time ever that the names of two of those rapists was known well, no. to the police all but, along but I, I so, so 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 Maggie I, I grew up not a million miles away from from this I went to school in the rush home area as well you will know it well of course on the curry mile etc now, for me, I am very concerned about the idea of... So there was one bloke in a police station who saw her and thought, I can take advantage of this young girl. And then he took her to a house where clearly several other men thought exactly the same thing. And then she was dropped outside and another man thought exactly the same thing. How many of these people are out there? More than we can count. But for me, Patrick, that, you know, abuse is never going to go away. But the police and the authorities, um, you know, the, what you've just shown now in your clip, Andy Burnham is talking about past failures. Sophia's story was blocked from this review until February when she came to me and I went to the independent review team. They had been told Sophie didn't want to tell her story. It's another attempt to cover up. The chief constable, Steve Watson, saying that we have moved on considerably from the time of these grave weaknesses. I'm telling you that this year alone, we are dealing with 33 serious cases within GMP that mm. they are not acting on. We have been why aren't working they? with them, trying what, what, to. Why, why aren't they? Sorry, because, look, I will just say it. Are they not acting on these because they're afraid of some elements of the Muslim community? I think it's far greater than that, Patrick. I just think that there is... Um, you know, victims are still being blamed. They are not being listened to. Um, so I don't really think it is political correctness anymore because I okay. think that that cat is out of the bag. I think that is part of the issue, but I think it goes far deeper. Um, there is a continual attempts to pretend that these things are not happening. Now, whilst we can't change what happened 15 years ago, when we you see the same today. failures today which I am telling you are still going on, and I know that from the Maggie Oliver Foundation. Um, that is where we need to focus our attentions. And Steve Watson has got an ideal opportunity. GMP are in special measures. He needs to acknowledge these failures, act on the cases we are sending through to senior officers today, and not pretend that these are historical failures, because no. they are not. No. Well, another concern, look, one of the ones, of course, and I think it depends... Maybe, maybe where in the country you are, how much they will sweep something under the rug when it comes to certain elements of the Muslim community. You give an answer on that. I'll, I'll leave that one there. But one thing I am concerned about is the fact that often vulnerable, young, working-class white girls, potentially with uh, social issues in terms of a broken home or whatever, or maybe they are hanging around a park at the age of 12 and 13 and, you know, drinking and smoking a bit of weed or whatever, OK, they're seen as the lowest are they are they just not do the police do the police have a habit of looking at them and thinking they don't matter 
I, I think there is absolutely a judgment of these victims. Um, you know, you only have to, for instance, look at the Sarah Everard case, Patrick. You know, that hit all the media. Yeah. Something was done about it. Too little, too late. But, it, you know, that victim fitted the profile of somebody we could feel sorry for. I'm saying that every child victim of abuse deserves justice. They deserve to be looked after, to be heard, to be treated with empathy and respect. And if that happens, if there is no prosecution... A victim can accept that, but what they will never accept, and Sophie's case shows that clearly. She spent 15 years trying to get justice. In that process, two years ago, her husband actually committed suicide. She believes it's because of the trauma and the stress of fighting to have her case acknowledged and dealt with. You know, these failures are going on today. They're not historical. And as I say, even in February, there was a concerted attempt to silence Sophie yep. because she knew me. I knew the review team. She has been included. But it's interesting, isn't it, that her voice is actually the only detailed case study in that report. Well, just, just, How lastly, many the children... just lastly, Maggie, sorry, it's a bit pressed for time. So, obviously, officially, there's not been a cover-up. But from what you're saying, you think there has? Sophie was... The, the independent review team were lied to. They were told that Sophie right. didn't want to speak to them. I don't know what other lies have been told to the review team and what they have seen. What I would say is if Sophie hadn't come to me, her story wouldn't be in that review either. How many other cases have been buried? Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.